Time Magazine names Donald Trump as man of the year, and then he say, they say president-elect of the, of the divided United States, president of the divided states of America. Uh, they come out and they slam him uh, after a tremendous victory, leaving many people optimistic about the future of America. Once again, the media disappoints. Time Magazine, by the way, Grant, have you seen Time Magazine lately? When I was in the airport last, you know how you go by those little kiosks in, in the airport terminals, and I saw all I saw Newsweek, which is like paper thin. What kind of what, what's the grade of paper they're printing that thing on? It's like it's cheaper than toilet paper. And then I saw Time Magazine, which has gotten so thin, Grant. It's gotten so thin. Do people read Time Magazine anymore? I bet the average age of their reader is probably 99 <laughs> years old. Nobody reads Time Magazine, but it's their little slam. And the thing about divided states of America, that's so funny because it's not divided. That's what's, that's what's so interesting. It's not divided. It's, it's, again, this is all coming down to ignoring the flyover people. I wrote the book on it, Flyover Nation, R ignoring all of those flyover people and all of the disaffected Democrats that decided, you know what, we don't really want to third term of Barack Obama. You know what? We're, we're not really bitter clingers. We don't really appreciate being, being stereotyped as such. And you've never delivered on any of the promises that you've ever stated in any of your stump speeches, Democrats. So we're going to go and we're going to try something different. That's what happened.